Uh, the Rams look good. The Rams, mm -hmm. they, they, they look formidable. They look like a, a, a contender. Um, but I know Corey um, is in the uh, uh, <laughs> mind of thinking that it's all going to come tumbling down after week eight. Is that right, Corey? Yeah, pretty much. Okay. All right. Uh, explain to me why, uh, again, I know you already said, explain us why uh, you feel like it's going to uh, go all downhill. So, first of all, I've always been the one that said to get rid of Jared Goff. Anything. Did I, did I miss the worst taking sports yet? Am I? Any, no. Anything. I'm, I'm on it right now. Say what you got. You, but you hold on. Anything was a plus from Jared Goff. Mm -hmm. Anything. Um, you bring in Matthew Stafford, uh, you know, a dude that's thrown for 5,000 yards. How many times in his career? Probably one, three or four. Once, once, but he almost hit it twice. He almost yeah. yeah. I mean, the dude, the dude, the dude could slay the rock. He was throwing to Calvin Johnson when he did it. I mean, Calvin Johnson probably had 3,000 of them yards, but it's all good. Um, <laughs> the, the only thing that I ever said about bringing Matthew Stafford in is, is he can't stay healthy. There is something always wrong with that dude all the time. And whenever something goes wrong, either his production falls or he goes and sits down. What 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 causes his his injuries, uh, Corey? I you mean, get hit. Hold on, never mind the sixteen games he played eight years in a row. But uh, eight, eight years. Let, in let a me row. let me let me ask you a question. Those hits that he was taking in Detroit are are he taking them currently with the ring? And that was my point right there. That's the so reason I it, said. It, I, so so no, yes or no? Are he do, are, do you, is he taking you, those hits currently? Do do you think that no he's yes not? No. Do you do you think okay. that he's going to face a Case three closed. step drop where he's going to be able to three step drop and throw the ball all season long? Case closed. I mean the 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 team that was uh, problematic for the greatest show on earth, the Kansas City Chiefs, didn't get no pass rush on. I know Jason Pierre Paul cool. wasn't playing, but still he was getting rid of the ball quick, utilizing mm -hmm. the ground game a little bit, but he was fine. What other team? What other team gonna be uh, an issue for him? Uh, the 49ers, the Cardinals. The oh, we just Seahawks. we just seen we just seen Aaron Rodgers get sacked only once by the 49ers. He handled uh, it very well. It took we're a lot of referees. But we're, we're also and close. we're we're also talking about Aaron Rodgers too. That's what we're talking. We're, about. We're, we're getting Aaron Rodgers. They took I'm, they took but, the lead. But, but, but they took the lead. The, they to took the, the oh, lead. But we know why. 49ers know why. took the lead. We okay, know, here, no, we the here we go. Here we go with your computer. Yeah, you're right. Here we go with your computer conspiracy theory. The 49ers took the lead. The okay, 49ers back, took the lead, and they got Aaron Rodgers at the end. I know we are. Back, we are. Back, to, back to the worst take in sports, mm -hmm. that the Rams is going to self-implode, even though they ain't self-implode with Jared Goff when they was fired on all cylinders. They just went to the Super Bowl. That's all, right? And, and then what upgrade, they do the next year. And, and what they do upgrade, the next year. And you're telling what they do. me and what did they do the next year? They're not going to make the play everybody was ready. Everybody was ready to get rid of Sean McVay. You tell until me he bought until this year. Make... Now, you, now you're ready. He left his Finish. cartilage in the locker room. Yeah, Todd, Todd, Todd Gurley <laughs> left. It went yeah. shitty. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Todd, Todd Gurley was carrying the offense. And that's yeah, why yeah, he, was. he was carrying the offense that Super Bowl year. After that year, they found out his knees were degenerative, which means they mm -hmm. weren't only not getting better, they were getting worse. And he was a shell of himself from that they were year. Getting, they, were, they were getting degenerative because he decided not to get surgery on them. Which is yes, LaCour, LaCour said, I know you lying. Who? Corey. Some, hey, somebody come in and help Corey, man, because uh some some somebody there, there's no there's no reason for all sports. you all help you have to sports. do is look at Matt Stafford's history. I did he starts 16, off every every eight, eight, eight years. Okay, let's read it. Eight, September eight. September 12, 2010, he missed five games. Then he came back, he re-injured his shoulder and eventually underwent surgery in 2011. You said it's 2010? Uh, yeah, well, I'm going. I'm going through his whole. I'm I'm going through his whole career. You gonna give me? I mean, it's long. I mean, I got I've a lot to read. It, Corey. 16, I got a lot to read. How many games? I got a lot have to read. Sixteen games. I got a lot to read. How many games have you? How many years have you played? Sixteen. Hold on, oh, and it oh, tells you in the injuries if he played through the injury or not. But all you gotta do is look at his stats through the history. It's not good. Oh, they, he drops. Corey, regardless on how you how you about to uh uh back up that worst take when you said. The reason why he was getting hurt was because he was getting hit constantly, and I just yeah. asked you, "Is he getting so? Hit you, so currently, so you, you think said so? No. You, so you think so, out of three? So you think out of three games, you think that's just that's gonna happen for the whole season? I, I He's not gonna that, take I, no hit. I, I answered that. I thought I asked my question and get an answer from you. So okay, go uh, ahead. Uh, I mean, uh, but you, I, I answered your question. You can at least answer mine. 
Okay, I answer it as soon as I finish this one, then you answer it. So, uh, soon, but I, uh, like I said, you can answer my question. You ask me one, I ask you sure. one, answer my question. He's gonna go the okay. whole season without getting hit. No, he's you think he's just gonna stand clean in the pocket like that and not get he, hit. You think not, it's not, not gonna, gonna go be a game? Like you think it's not gonna be games where that passing game, that little three step drop is not gonna work and they're gonna have to run the football with no sure. running backs? Sure, I think it will be. So, uh, so that, how what? What I'm saying is, uh, did you? I knew they was gonna be doing three step drops against Tampa Bay. I knew that. I'm yeah, not. You dude. have to. You have to, and they did it, yes. and it was successful against one of the best rushing pass rushing teams in the league. <laughs> so, okay, even the if, cow the Cowboys offense was successful there too. What does that have to do with the price of tea in China? Well, we yeah, well, like, like, I mean, you, like, you can be successful. No you can three step and drop. You can three step drop and throw the ball against Tampa Bay. Their secondary is terrible. Hey, Jay, Cowboys showed you that. I'm, I'm, I'm just here, Jay. So here's the thing. Here's the thing. Tampa Bay is I, not. I love what y'all. I love what y'all doing. I love what y'all doing. Here's the thing. I hate to say this, I really do, but Melvin's right, <laughs> and this is why Melvin's right, Corey. This is this is why Melvin's right. I, I can't stand Melvin. I, I'll probably never say Melvin was right again. This is why he was right. With the offense, the way that it was constructed, the way that it's been constructed the whole time, even with mm-hmm. Derek off in the center, mm-hmm. adding Deshaun, adding Deshaun Jackson mm-hmm. in that slot keeps everybody at home. Mm-hmm. For if you don't. This man, when, when, he, might lost, when he might have lost a step in speed, I and, don't know. And, and me and Melvin was talking about it, but and he might not have lost a step in speed, but he might have. But his route running is impeccable right now. So, mm-hmm. so, man, so man, you can, and me and, and me and me and Melvin talked about this too. When you when you lose a step and you go from a four two to a four three, that's, that's not what don't even matter. <laughs> <laughs> that's doesn't matter. Hey, yeah, it I, doesn't I mean, matter. I, I mean, he's the and, and Cooper Cup again. Uh, Matt Matt Stafford and Cooper Cup uh, went was in Italy all summer all working summer. on that connection. <laughs> and went to Norway, uh, mm-hmm. but but either way, I mean that that's that's a heck of a one two punch to have, and and, mm-hmm. and you still got Woods there who hadn't had a a a, a that game yet a, the game that he's capable of having every week yet. He'd be uh, a tight end is nice. So um right mm-hmm. now, and 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 of course you say uh without a running back. We yeah. know that if anybody on this panel believes that you can win without a running back, it's me. So, <laughs> <laughs> we we know I'd double down on that. <laughs> let, let me say let me say one thing and I want I want Zoe and uh Lamar to respond after Zoe. So I I'm looking at the statistics for the most sacked quarterback in the last five years. We all know Russell Wilson's number one, Matt Ryan's number two, uh, <laughs> Carson Wentz was number three, and Matt Stafford was number four. Mm-hmm. All right, you continue on down all the way and you get the first 10, the top 10 most sacked quarterbacks. Guess who name was not there? Jared Goff's name was not there. He's because been getting they- protected. Right, so now you replace uh, hold on, come out, come Matt out. How the heck is Wentz name there and he missed significant time with injuries? Every time he out there. Because, because every time he get hit, he get hurt. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, you do miss the whole season. He still get Every time he get hit, he get hurt. I mean, so not, now that I throw that out there, Zoe, and then Lamar, how do you take that? Um, Just like you said, man, it, it's, it's a difference. If you take... Uh, the Cowboys, you, for instance, that offensive you think, line. You think you think the Rams can beat the Cowboys? I don't. I don't. I don't. It, it, well, Lacour okay. might, but it doesn't Corey. matter. Hey, line, Corey, I you, don't say that out loud. Don't say that out loud, Corey. I don't. You, <laughs> Corey, don't say that out loud, please. He, listen, no, he, he they they riding high. The, the Cowboys are riding high. He he got every right to talk the talk that talk. But yeah, they if you beat the, the Cowboys, offensive yeah. line, <laughs> if you <laughs> take that offensive line in Dallas and you put it. Uh, in anywhere, um, specifically Detroit, the time that Matt Stafford was in, that we we might be having another conversation. Of course, it's Detroit. He has not seen this this complete of a team ever in his career, no. ever. 
He's just never seen this. He's never had this in his career. So for him to be protected, to have weapons to use like Deshaun Jackson, Cooper Cup, Robert Woods, they brought in Sony Michelle for a running back if need be. I mean, <laughs> whatever that means. And you know, you got the defense over there. You got the most dominant defender uh, in Aaron Donald on that side of the ball, who's going to be a game changer by itself. It's it's going to be really difficult for them to just fall off the face of the earth and not make the playoffs at least. So I, 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 I got to disagree.